Hey guys, welcome back to more Dragon Ball Super English dub reactions. We're on episode 89 right now. Last week, last episode was all about Gohan and Piccolo trying to train together, trying to reawaken Gohan's inner power that he's been, you know, keeping locked up because Suppressed yeah, because of his Chi Chi upbringing and like his whole family <laughs> life, he kind of wanted to, you know, just focus Take on the, that. Yeah, the dad route. But because of Goku's, you know, hunger for a challenge, mm -hmm. he needs to reawaken his inner power again mm -hmm. because the they're going to need all the help they can yeah. get to save their universe. We're still in the recruiting stages of the uh, arc, in a sense. We yeah. still haven't gotten to like the actual like tournament, tournament yet. Yeah, I feel like the last how many episodes have been this, but we're getting closer, just a little bit more further. Because I think last episode they said like three hours. I think I don't know. It was like hours already. But I yeah. think they've been saying hours. <laughs> okay, well, it was like getting closer to like zero, I mean. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just excited to see what they have in store for us. So, with that being said, let's get on with this video. Kim Tien asked me to come work with some fresh young students. I pictured something other than a bunch of sweaty, scruffy, bald men. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sausage fest. What? Did he think there'd be some cute girls there? Tien Shen Ho. Oh, yeah, yeah, the fuck? Is this Chun Li? Three eyed Baldy. Three eyed Baldy? What does she have against him? Is there something on my face? Now we're talking! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! You would enjoy this. Oh, oh my gosh. god. <laughs> then I'll have to ask you to find another dojo. This is a place for those who seek to. Roshi won't like that. See? Yeah. To be such a with the young lady. We're delighted to welcome fresh talent, dear. <laughs> oh my oh god, gosh. fresh talent. Come along with me. Damn, Dang. bro! Dang. Education from the bottom up. Oh, I'm okay. sure he'll gladly oblige with that. I don't think Roshi has heard of the Me Too movement yet. <laughs> I'm all ready to go. Hey. It's her sh <laughs> shit. This is super short. Boma would have knocked him out by I know. now. I'm sure Chi Chi would have too. Yeah. You can't fool these all seeing eyes. Okay, Roshi needs to slow his roll there. Right here. You're hiding a whole lot of darkness, right? <laughs> a whole lot of darkness. <gasps> oh! oh shit. <laughs> is, well, is that, that supposed to be out. like blood but they changed it to smoke to or steam because steam? og anime it. yeah they would have a nosebleed actually... oh shit oh is she a shinobi she's trying to curse the thing the dojo we've got a problem your students are rampaging through the town wait is it because of her like the the thing oh. that she did with this look, the seal it's like a seal so i was right that they cursed she was gonna curse them well, instead of cursing the dojo she cursed them the students it looks like something out of sailor moon they used to do that like the paper thingy on the face hey we lad what put on beta don't you understand this guy australian <laughs> oh Okay. Is this a Saiyan gang? What was that? Why would you want to waste your skills in a place like this when you could be aiming for something so much higher? This is the first time I've heard Kaba talk like this. They reek of magic. It looks so stupid. <laughs> oh, force field. So you're the one behind all this sorcery. I could see there was darkness in your <laughs> darkness. Oh. Let me handle this one, fellas. After all, Tien, you don't have a lot of experience dealing with a fair sex now, do you? Why don't you just focus on her floating puppets? He wants her all to himself. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go. So get ready, darling, because I'm about to spank that nasty attitude. Spank. Right Think you can run your grimy little hands all over my body? You'll never touch me yeah. again! <laughs> he you really know? wants to. Oh, uh oh, that ain't doing shit. 
It's not honorary master for nothing. My turn. Uh oh, the oh. view. <laughs> the stripes. <laughs> oh, did she just kick him in the? In the nuts? Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh no. Oh. That's gonna be a challenge. Oh shit, is Goku gonna have to fight Master Roshi? Master Roshi. But you'll never break my spell. Hanjiru Manjiru. She's a shinobi. Get out of here with that sorcery. Genjiru Gunjiru. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. You wanna flex? You wanna right. flex? Let's flex. If he can't face Roshi, how is he gonna stand the tournament? Are you okay? yeah, so this is what he can do when he's not holding back. He must mm -hmm. be thinking about oh. kids training when we're not around. So this is Roshi going all out. Mm-hmm. Is that supposed to target just her? <laughs> <laughs> I love this episode. Damn! <laughs> that just targeted him! As long as you're going to be training, Yurine, why not come and do it at my dojo? <gasps> oh, she'll be the oh. substitute. You want me to train with you? With that 10 million zenny prize, I'll be able to rebuild the town and fix what they've done. Wait, did you just say 10 million zenny? <laughs> Count me in for whatever that is! <laughs> there we go, we got a full team. Wow, this episode is definitely the perviest episode in the Dragon Ball Super series so mm. far. I can't say I hated it because I loved it, you know? It was funny as hell. Like, Roshi was... Roshi's humor is like, is never, it never gets old. It never gets old. Roshi is just, he's just this old pervert. It's hilarious, it's funny, it's creepy. I no feel doubt. Like, I feel like but they made it um PG more. Yeah, more PG because like it was just steam coming out of his nose. Shouldn't it be blood? Because like in yeah. every other anime, you see like nosebleeds. Like Pervy Sage. Yeah, Jiraiya. Jiraiya, right? His is always nosebleeds when he yeah. sees like girls in bikinis. Yeah. Didn't we? did he have a nose? Didn't dry, uh, not dry, Roshi have a nosebleed with the magazine? Some. I don't there was know. like a. Uh, remember like that old one with um. It was Goku and Krillin, and um Roshi was training them way back when, with his witch sister, and the prize was like a magazine. And yeah, I remember. I remember that episode, but not yeah, the nosebleed. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I feel like. I remember that. I think he had a nosebleed there. He was going all out with that girl. I know. Like he chased her around. He like picked her up. Like you said, I feel like if that was any other like Chi Chi, Bulma, they would have like kicked yeah. him to the curb a long time ago. Well, yeah, we finally got a full team. Finally. We have uh, 10 fighters. Finally. Down to, I heard, eight hours left. So. Getting there, getting there. Oh, we also saw a bit of, um, from Universe 6. Oh yeah, Khalifa. more of Khalifa. Khalifa and Kaba. Was Khalifa and Kaba. Mm -hmm. I've never seen, I don't think I've ever seen Kaba talk like that. Like, being so... Serious? Serious. Uh, like, he's always been, I mean, he was serious with Vegeta, but not on that level. Like, it was just a, a different kind. Like, he was kind of more like, serious like in idolizing vegeta and becoming stronger that way here it's kind of like a more firm foot down type of seriousness you know if that makes any sense well their universe is on the line yeah it, i understand so. that so and we're getting khalifa added to their team so we got a full-blooded well she said she's not accepting okay but... well she'll look this, into the super saiyan thing it still like sparked her interest and like yeah. what happens with all this though oh they like, say no at first yeah and then they'll eventually join join because yeah. that's what's been happening for yeah. our team like every time goku recruits it's like no i'll pass and then by the episode it's like okay i'll join you so i feel like we're gonna get that 
with them. Because why not put her in and why mention no, her? Yeah, they need people. They and need like, bodies. Like I said, like why mention her if they're not going to yeah. add her and we get to see more of her development. That forearm thing that he uh, used in this episode, that's new to me. Because mm. I don't remember him using that in Z. Z? So he might have used it in, dra in the original Dragon Ball and never seen that. What about anything from Roshi? What do you mean, like, like getting the, big? No, I think I've seen that. Yeah, he it was in the movie, the yeah. Frieza Resurrection app. Yeah, I think I've seen that. But I meant like whatever light that was forming from him. Kamehameha? No, what was that? No, because Kamehameha is blue. It was like he, a yellow. He fired light. it and then Goku blocked it. Oh, never mind. I thought it was something else. You mean the beam that kind of like put down Tien? Yeah. Oh, that one. Like, I didn't hear what he said. Oh. I was like, I like I move. said, it was just like a yellow light. Yeah. Like, the Kamehameha, I figured that was just like the usual, but... Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was cool to see uh, Goku and uh, Master Roshi, Roshi like, kind of spar in this episode, mm -hmm. you know? Like, again, throwing... Making references back into the old days when Roshi was the master mm -hmm. and Goku was a student. Yeah, with that whole teacher-student theme too yeah. with this episode. I love how like Goku didn't even bother transforming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like his normal form is more than enough. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really, really excited to see Roshi of all, I feel like. Just because he's been such an iconic character throughout the series in general. Like, you know, whenever you think of Dragon Ball and like the uh, supporting characters, like Roshi's always one of them. And just like you said, the whole like he trained Goku. So to see like a student surpass his master that far, yeah. especially Goku being God level. Like I want to see what, he, what his teacher can do. Mm -hmm. And like I didn't grow up with the series either. So I'm not all that familiar with what he can and can't do. So like, that's why I'm, he just interests me most of all. And like I said, it's also because he's old. <laughs> just seeing how much power this old guy has. That's what he has over the rest of the team, his experience. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, his, his battle knowledge too. Like he's done more tournaments and more, like you said, experience in general. Because he is ancient. <laughs> Anyways, what did you guys think of this episode? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. I'm Danny. I'm Ray. And we'll see you in the next one.